Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making yet another Korean street food inspired video and it is for egg bread. I saw this video and it looks so delectable yet seemingly very, very simple that I have to make this. Now, I'll put a link down below to the original video where this one is inspired. I actually watched a few street food videos. It's one of my late night YouTube binging pleasures is watching street food videos. So I'll put links down below to the originals. The recipe I'm gonna be using for the batter comes from the maven of Korean cookery and that would be Manchi. And I will also put a link down below to her video and the recipe down below. So in Korean, this bread is called kerimbang and it is little round, oval pucks of bread that are topped with egg. Sometimes they include a bit of American cheese or sometimes bacon. I want to make both versions because they both look so delectable and they are baked in these special ovens that are kind of a cylinder in shape and I think it's a combination of gas and steam. So when the breads are finished they have a beautiful kind of dome top. They're golden brown. They're just diminutive in size. They just look so delectable. So Let's go ahead and make a homemade version. So I've never had a kerimbang before and in all the street food videos, they show the batter pre-made. So I'm so grateful that Manji has made this recipe because not only has she tasted it, she's made a recipe based on those tastes. And I would have never guessed that the batter actually contains vanilla, very similar to a pancake batter in that respect. It's a sweet batter. So in a bowl, we're gonna combine one half cup of flour, one tablespoon of melted butter, it's a little bit cold, so my butter's a little solidified. It was melted at some point. Three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, pinch of kosher salt, one egg. Jacques Pepin taught me this. Get all the egg out. Half teaspoon of vanilla, half cup of milk. And we're just gonna whisk this into a batter. There is our batter. So simple and easy. So Manji bakes her egg breads in little mini loaf pans. I was able to find these. I'll put a link down below if you're curious. And these are little oval pans. Super, super cute. These are a little bit more similar to the ones they show in the street food videos because they're oval in shape, but loaf pans or any kind of ramekin will do. Even though these have a nonstick coating, I'm going to go ahead and oil these with a little bit of vegetable oil. Use a brush to distribute that. We're going to add our batter to each pan. Fill them about halfway. So I'm just using this pan to transfer them to my oven, but when I actually bake them in my oven, I'm gonna bake them individually without a pan. So each of one of these breads now gets an egg. This is the fun part. Boop. So in one of the street food videos I watched, the vendor actually takes the time to remove the kaleza, which is that white little bit right here in the white and that is actually, there's two of them in each egg. The purpose of the kaleza is actually to center the yolk, to keep the yolk in the middle of the white. Isn't that cool? So here's another one right here. I'm just gonna pull that out. I'm not really sure why they do that. Maybe just to make a more aesthetically pleasing product. This isn't necessary. Manchi doesn't do it in her video, but I just thought it would be fun to point out. So this is another technique I saw in a street food video for this dish. They use a pair of scissors to, to cut the yolk and to mix the eggs. So the eggs stay on top, but they're kind of beaten. Another video, they use like a straw or something to kind of just mix up the egg on top. The batter I've noticed seems a little bit runnier than the ones that I've seen in the street food videos. I'm gonna do three different versions of the egg bread. One, I'm just gonna have egg and bread sprinkled with sugar. This middle version, I'm going to add a slice of bacon. And the third one, I'm gonna add a piece of American cheese that it's been sliced in half. Boink! 
So now we're gonna pop these into a preheated 400 degree oven and bake them for 13 to 15 minutes, depending on how cooked you like your eggs. I want these to be nice and golden, so I am cooking mine on a convection setting at 375 degrees. Alrighty, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> lovelies look at this they look so good <sighs> these are piping hot i'm going to get these out of here as quickly as possible because that's what they do in the street food videos but i'm going to try not to burn myself <laughs> you know what i need to do i need to get a pair of those heat proof gloves that i see street food vendors using in those videos they seem so brilliant oh beautiful Look at that. Da, 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 perfect. Just comes out beautifully. Yeah! That was like the easiest unmolding experience ever. <laughs> so grateful because I've had so many bad ones. Look at those. Those look amazing. Alrighty, lovelies, we're finally gonna give the egg breads a taste. I'm gonna try the original first. This is just the egg bread with the egg. All right, let's cut this in half. They look like little corn muffins. No corn in here though. See the egg in there? Kind of swirled and cooked inside there. Let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's steaming hot. Yeah! <laughs> mm. It's lovely, you've got egg inside there that's a bit like scrambled eggs, a little bit like a hard boiled egg, kind of a cross between those. And then you've got this bread on the outside, which is similar to a muffin in terms of level of sweetness. It's pretty sweet. And you've got the smell of vanilla in there. It's a delicious combination of sweet and savory. And in terms of the crumb quality of the bread, it's kind of similar to a steamed bao. It's very moist and has a bit of a bounce to it that. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I like that additional bit of sugar on top. This is the bacon. Doesn't that look delicious? Ho <laughs> ho ho, come to mama. Mmm. Mm. This one is good. So that addition of that smoky porkiness makes this more savory and is such an indication for me of breakfast. It just screams breakfast to me. Just love it. Love that combination of sweet kind of pancakey vanilla flavors with egg and bacon. Oh, this one's my favorite so far. Mmm. Now let's try the cheese. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Mm. This one tastes just like macaroni and cheese for me. The American cheese flavor is very strong. It goes well with the egg. It's kind of more like an omelet with this kind of pancakiness around it. So I think this pan had a little more batter in it. So the egg is a little more undercooked, which I don't mind. I think it goes really well with the melty cheese quality, kind of the oozy egg in the middle. Mm -hmm. This one kind of gives you an idea of what a soft cooked egg is like rather than a hard cooked egg. I like them both. I feel like the texture of the hard cooked egg is a little bit more rubbery and bouncy while the undercooked egg is a little more oozy. In terms of egg flavor, I think it tastes stronger when it is more hard cooked. You get more of that kind of hard boiled egg flavor. So it kind of depends on your preferences when it comes to how you like your eggs cooked. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. That's how you make ket and pong or Korean street food style egg bread. D delicious. Highly recommend the bacon form, although the regular egg bread is quite tasty as well. Somehow I want to have a little bit of ketchup. A ketchup and eggs, such a perfect combination. I think that would make it even more breakfast-like and even more delicious. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you and your suggestions. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.